Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's Pokemon guide, we're going to be looking at how to get ourselves the new special event, Gigantamax Snorlax Pokemon, that has just dropped on the online facility within the Sword and Shield titles. Now, Snorlax is a very strong Pokemon, but add on top of that the Gigantamax form, and it becomes an incredible force to be reckoned with, and a Pokemon every Pokemon trainer needs to have in their party. So, to begin with, what we're going to do is hop over to the Pokemon.com website. It is the official Sword and Shield website. It will be linked down below in the description. And we're going to take a look at the article regarding the Gigantamax Snorlax. So, as you can see on your screen, Gigantamax Snorlax has been discovered. We now know that there are special Snorlax among the Snorlax that you can find living in the Galar region. These Snorlax are capable of Gigantamaxing. When Gigantamax, the these special Snorlax gain a different appearance than regular Dynamax Snorlax and they can also unleash a G-Max move called G-Max Replenish. So as you can scroll down you see a nice big picture of the new Gigantamax Snorlax here. It looks great honestly, it looks amazing. I love the artwork of it with the tree and the tree and the new Pokemon area kind of stuck onto its stomach there. It looks amazing. You can go down there's a few details about it. It does say that it's a normal type still, its height is still ridiculous. Weight is unknown because it's just so heavy and the abilities are immunity and thick fat. I will just add here though, you can get 100% the hidden ability of Gigantamax Snorlax which is the gluttony ability. So do not misinterpret this as something that you cannot get, you can 100% get this in the game. So more artwork here and you can go down again and see Max Move Replenish. When Snorlax is Gigantamax, its normal type attacks will be transformed into G-Max Replenish. G-Max Replenish doesn't merely deal damage to targets, it can also restore any berries that Gigantamax Snorlax allies have eaten during the battle. So, really more suited towards double battles, so VGC here, but if you have an opponent with a berry and it's already eaten it, when Gigantamax Snorlax uses Max G Replenish, it will also restore the berry on a partnering Pokemon if it's already being consumed. Consumed. So really powerful Gigantamax ability here and one that we all probably want to be taking advantage of. We'll take a look on the next screen, take on Gigantamax Snorlax yourself in Max Raid Battles. And this just goes on to say Gigantamax Snorlax will appear in Max Raid Battles from Wednesday, December the 4th until early January and this is subject to change. Check out the Pokemon Dens that dot the wild area and try to battle Gigantamax Snorlax for yourself. And then it goes down to say after a few images to face a Gigantamax Snorlax you will need to connect to the internet. Connecting your Nintendo Switch system to the internet will automatically enable you to encounter the latest Pokemon appearing in the wild area. You can achieve the same results manually by opening the X menu in your game, selecting mystery gift and then selecting get wild area news. So this is what we're going to do, we're going to hop straight over into our game now and we are going to just open up our menu screen and as you can see the first thing that we're going to do is go along to our mystery gift icon here and we'll click into it and once we're in there we'll just scroll down to get the wild area news and this will connect to the internet and then pull that news onto your system updating it and then placing that Gigantamax Snorlax within the wild area in your game. So you can see you've connected to the internet and received the latest updates on the wild area. Time to go have a look for those Pokemon in the dens and then dates below that. So here we are, we're going to take a look for Gigantamax Snorlax in the wild area. Now I will just say that Gigantamax Snorlax doesn't appear in one specific den. It is like the other event max raid battles. So it will appear in numerous max raid dens around the wild area so you cannot pinpoint it you'll have to just go around each den checking if it's there if it's not then move on so as you can see we check quite a few dens on our way and the one thing to really note here is that you do not need a purple a solid purple beam a red beam will be enough to summon this Snorlax and as you can see the first one that we come across actually is just a regular Snorlax so this just determining the difference, the silhouette difference between the normal Snorlax and the Gigantamax Snorlax so you can definitely tell which variant it is when you come across it. But we search for quite a while actually just going around different raid dens trying to find this Gigantamax Snorlax and don't have too much 
joy at the beginning and it does take us a little while to actually find it we we actually go around the whole wild area in a big loop and go through probably all of the max raid dens that are active then i actually come to the conclusion that i am going to start beating some of these max raid dens to activate other raid dens in hope of summoning that gigantic max snorlax to one den or another so after probably about 45 minutes we are able to actually come across this den here this is the final one we check and lo and behold we finally have our Gigantamax Snorlax, so we are able to go into battle. I was actually online at the time, so I did invite others. I set up a code and invited some friends into this, and it's a good idea to do that. I think if you've got that facility and you've got people that you would like to invite in, then it means they've got a chance to catch this Pokemon as well, because it's an extremely hard Pokemon to take down. With the five-star Snorlax, you're guaranteed pretty much five perfect IVs when you do catch it. So the one thing that I would say about Snorlax is it's a very slow Pokemon, performs well in Trick Room. One of the things you might be looking for is a zero speed IV to really perform a lot better under Trick Room. Now, you're going to want to look for three to four star raids for that so you are able to have a better chance at getting that zero speed stat or at least a very low speed stat because otherwise you're more than likely going to be getting a perfect IV over anything else. So we do see that we are able to beat the first one. Now your chances of catching it are pretty slim. It's not really locked. There is a good chance that it will break out. So you're going to have to probably cycle through a lot of these max raid battles to actually get one. We were quite fortunate with our first one here using the Dusk Ball, giving us the best chance to catch the Snorlax and we do manage to lock it in and get our first Gigantamax Snorlax. And the thing is, what I said earlier, the hidden ability is available, so that gluttony ability is available on Gigantamax Snorlax. So you really want to be looking for that. Unfortunately, we got immunity. It is immunity, thick fat are its normal abilities, and its hidden ability is the gluttony. And that is the one that we want to be looking for because it does activate your berries on 50% health, not 33% like it would otherwise so you can see we got a really good spread there that is the first Gigantamax Pokemon found just by searching around the dens now this next step I want to show you is a method where you can use wishing pieces as well there's some information out there that says that you can't use wishing pieces to activate a Gigantamax Snorlax in the den but I will tell you now that that is not true and you can do that so what you want to do is it is going to cost you quite a few wishing pieces but if, if you stock up on them before you start this process what you can do is then find two raid dens quite close together and then go in between both of them dropping wishing pieces in one and then check the den if it's not the Gigantamax Snorlax move on to the next one drop a wishing piece into that one and if again if the Gigantamax Snorlax doesn't appear there you can go back to the original one and because you've just dropped a wishing piece in the previous den the one that you already had activated initially will have deactivated so you can go back to that one and drop another wishing piece in and as you can see here i have finally after maybe after maybe about 10 attempts i do actually get the gigantamax snorlax so it didn't actually cost me too many wishing pieces um, obviously if you are farming water it will make this a lot easier for getting the wishing pieces in the first place but you can use this method to get the Snorlax. Now I haven't tested the date glitch method at all with this Gigantamax Snorlax but I'm assuming that it would work on a den but unfortunately that isn't something I've tested yet so you can see again I've set up another code with friends to get in and uh, help me take this Snorlax down because the five star ones are pretty difficult I don't really think that you'll be able to take it down with just the NPC characters. Snorlax is pretty strong, so you really want as much support as you can to take this thing down. It's, uh, it looks amazing in battle as well. It looks so good. I really hope that I can catch that gluttony ability very soon. Unfortunately, I've not been able to get it yet. I think this one is another immunity Snorlax here, but we do use that Dusk Ball once again and try and catch this one and one and two it's so intense though because you know it can break out at any point and three and i've joined so many raids with friends this evening when in between recording this episode and i've not caught a single one from one of the raids that i've joined so the the catch rates for snorlax are quite high 
So maybe setting up the raids yourself and hosting them yourself gives you a better option because that's the only time I've actually caught Snorlax but I don't know the odds really and it might be just me being lucky in certain situations but there's the immunity and we get a decent enough spread there's the five perfect IVs you can see not ideal in this case because the attack stat isn't as high as you would want it because that's the one stat that you really want the perfect IV in but never mind we could use a bottle cap on this if we wanted to but it does come at around level 70 from a five star raid and this wraps up the episode for us my friends so if you have enjoyed this episode please remember to leave a like do subscribe to the channel and i will see you all for another episode very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye